can hear me okay. Uh, I appreciate, Mark, the introduction. Mrs. Benson, thank you for making this all possible today. Um, man, there, there's so many, uh, so many thoughts that go through my head now as we begin to induct players from our first draft class in 2006. Um, so to Marco, Jari, and Roman, and all three of you, congratulations. And I would echo what Mrs. Benson said. I would much rather uh, be in a press conference right now, um, having a chance to, to see your reactions. And I know we'll hear from, from every one of you. Um, not too long ago, we had a dinner at training camp and we had a handful of players at that dinner that were with the organization for more than 10 years. Um, Jari and Roman, both coming in in the first draft class, have a lot in common. And I, I think it's important uh, to always review history uh, because there'll be a day where I'll get these stories mixed up and, and, and it won't be as clear. But my memory, fortunately, right now uh, serves me well. Um, they have a lot in common. Number one, both of these players played multiple years, 10 or more years with the Saints, went off to another team briefly and yet came home to New Orleans. Um, both of these players, when drafted, Roman in the second round, uh, were involved in a trade where the Saints backed up a handful of selections and then acquired a player that started for us that year as well. In Roman's case, we, we had a trade with Cleveland. We selected Roman out of Alabama, and we acquired Jeff Fain. In Jari's case, we had a trade with Philadelphia. We backed out of uh, our early spot in the fourth round and acquired not only Jari Evans with the selection, but also Hollis Thomas. Um, I would say without, without a doubt, and there would be no argument from anyone that has any knowledge of the Saints organization, that these two gentlemen uh, are part of a draft class that completely changed the culture and, and began really uh, the pillars of, of a Super Bowl championship run. Um, so I think we're going to be, for the next few years, introducing members of that draft class. But the one thing they didn't have in common, and I'm talking about, again, Roman and Jari, I would say is the size of their schools. Roman came from University of Alabama, obviously uh, a well-storied program, and Jari, from Bloomsburg. So when the tape was watched on Roman, you had every angle possible. You saw sideline, end zone. You saw end zone tight, sideline tight. When the tape came on Jari, it kind of came in like on a horse and buggy. And you had one copy of it. And, and we wanted to hold on to that tape thinking that no one else in the league might, might have the same copy because we saw what good, uh, what a good football player he was. But I would say, and Mrs. Benson already hit on this, the, the two of these individuals not only were great players for us, but they were tremendous leaders and, and a tremendous presence in our locker room. Um, both of them uh, played pivotal roles. Both started uh, from the beginning of the season. Roman was someone I can recall his first sack as an NFL football player was at Cleveland. And I had to make Gary Gibbs call a blitz. Uh, Roman ended up having more sacks as a strong safety than anyone in the league during his time uh, as, a, as an NFL player at safety. Both of these players obviously went on and played for uh, a number of Pro Bowl teams. Jari, I can recall his first year. And when you, when you get a player from a smaller school like Bloomsburg, you, you really don't know how the transition is going to be. But it was immediate. And I can remember the first time one of the defensive tackles from Houston was kind of giving Jari a little bit of a, a hard time or hands to the face. Man, there was a quick brief fight and that was it so uh man i'm proud to have had an, an opportunity to coach both of these players and lastly the thing i'll miss most are the families of both of these players jari was if many of you don't know he was the only boy in the household so when when his family came it was all women and then with roman you got his mom and his dad and you also got his brother um Almost like a college program, we as coaches and everyone in our organization got to know just not only the players, but also their families. And that's the part I think that we miss most. So uh, today, uh, it's an honor and, and again, a pleasure to congratulate uh, 
all three of the gentlemen being introduced, uh, inducted into the Saints Hall of Fame. Um, it's much deserved, and I'm proud to have been your coach.